Ladies and gentlemen, Six Fig Stock Trader here on YouTube. Thank you all again for the love and support. Don't forget to smash that like button. If you find this TA helpful, subscribe. Why not? It's free. I'm trying to cover CKB on a daily basis. I want to say thank you all to the to the old subscribers, the new subscribers, to the people that aren't subscribed. I do appreciate all of you watching. I hope this takeaway of CKB will provide you with a little bit of relief and possibly some potential here moving to the upside. I know, folks, it does not seem like it, but there could be a silver lining here. And this is what I'm going to demonstrate to you. Why we really are not have not changed off course since my earlier videos last week when I was talking about this potential ascending triangle, folks. I think we're right back on track. And let me explain. Remember in yesterday's video, for those of you that, that watched it, I was talking about when the Voyager app listed CKB. This is what it looked like. Very similar to what we're seeing just the other day with BitThumb. Very similar. A dip, a pop. A retracement almost a 100% retracement in this case I think this is going to be very similar at least this play so one interesting aspect about these exchange launches is they seem to launch people cash out but then it's business as usual right through here and we can definitely see the ascending triangle continued on even with this event that happened. So let's just say hypothetically that we would have drifted towards this Fibonacci time zone. I'm saying these trend lines, bear with me one second, folks, while I get the right uh, tool here, these trend lines kind of lead us right to this Fibonacci time zone. Now I'm thinking CKB, the way we're driving, could bounce. May 15th around, what is that, 7 p.m. Central Time. Write that down right now. The evening of May 15th. As long as we do not violate this trend line too heavily, I think we might still be good. And let's go back really quickly to how I called this uh, setup. We'll go to a 30-minute chart. Yesterday, I told everybody, I said, set your alarms for 2 a.m. on May 12th to see what happens. Now, look at what happened. 2 a.m. I said, uh, we're going to see CKB move. I didn't say which way because I didn't know. Bingo. Look at that. We had a shift in momentum. You can tell in, very indecisive candle here. Spinning top. And that was it. Let's go back to the two hour chart. I just want to show you guys, that's the power of Fibonacci time zones. And when you know how to do that, you know, kind of do this stuff right, uh, it really does benefit you. I, I use them all the time in options trading. But this is what I'm thinking. I'm hoping that we get a little bounce. I'm hoping that we come down and at least check. I know this sounds bad. I hope we come down and check this trend line so that we know that we're still uh, trading within this trend line because anything on this side of the trend line is bad it's very bad in my opinion i'm not a professional and this is not stock or financial or coin crypto trading advice whatsoever like i say in all my videos i'm just the crazy guy drawing lines on charts so what happens if we kind of do one of these? This might be a perfect time to break in early June. I know, I know, I know early June is a long ways away, folks. But this might be our time to shine. And if it's anything, if it's anything like this area down here or even uh you know this accumulation phase in here uh, we might be set for a huge upward rally now if 
this does fail, uh, prepare to go right, right back down to about the one and a half cent range would be my guess. Just taking a crack at it. But I think this is somewhat of, of a healthy ascending triangle. We may even see this bar move up like this. And we may see uh, a launch point somewhere around this June 7th time here. I'm kind of undecided with this whole bit thumb thing that happened. I'm I'm just guessing. We'll know uh, if it reverses here on May 15th. You know, within a few days after that, we will know uh, whether or not uh, you know this area here around the 0.033 is the uh, the ceiling, or if the ceiling is closer up here. We just don't know yet. And the variables depend on this four and a half cent high and this this four cent high here. Um, but there's just too much right now to consider. Uh, I, I just think I just think that this is just kind of a guessing game at this time. If this tends if this falls below this 0.022 level on May 15th. Or lower than this uh, 0.016 level, folks. I think we are in for a world of hurt on CKB. I think a major correction could happen. But the positive side of things, we are seeing these lows getting higher over time. So as long as that can stay consistent and we see these lows uh, not dip below uh, one another, uh, that would be good. That's really all I got for you, folks. If you liked the TA, go ahead and hit that uh, like button. If you're holding CKB, you might want to consider hitting the bell. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. Thank you all again for all of your support. And we will see you guys tomorrow. We'll see how much closer we get to this May 15th Fibonacci time zone in three days. That happens to be on Saturday is when the next crazy event happens. So I'm thinking we'll see a nice shed, hopefully a bounce. And we may bounce back up to this four range. We may bounce back to maybe somewhere in this 0.032 range. So I guess we'll just have to play the waiting game.